guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my second video in my little mini series of the top five lippies at the drugstore if you're new to my channel or you just haven't heard about the series I wanted to do a top five drugstore lippies video but I wanted to break it up into colors just so that you guys could really see the specific ones that I love so if you didn't see my first one it was the top five nude lipsticks at the drugstore it'll be linked in my description box if you haven't seen it and probably around here somewhere as well. I have a couple disclaimers before we hop into the video. Number one is I'm probably going to have red lipstick on my teeth at some point in this video if I haven't already. And the second one is that these applications may not be perfectly on point. Applying a bunch of lipsticks in a row, especially colors like reds, is just really challenging to get it perfect every time. So without further ado, if you want to see my top five red lippies from the drugstore, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first one is obviously the one that I have on my lips right now, and it's actually the only red lippy that's not an actual lipstick. So this is Milani's old liquid lipstick. I actually haven't gotten to try their new ones yet. I'm absolutely dying to, but I absolutely love this shade of red. It's so, so stunning. It's like that true perfect red, but it's got a little bit of warmth in it. As far as the formula, I actually really like this stuff. It takes a pretty long time for these to dry, which I actually like. I wouldn't say it's an exact liquid lipstick in that way because it doesn't automatically dry on your lips, but over time it does have a beautiful matte finish and it stays on your lips for a really long time. So next up we have a matte lipstick by CoverGirl and this is in the shade number 305 Hot Passion. I've had this red lipstick for so long. It might have even been my first red lipstick. I really like it because it is a true red color, but it is pretty light at the same time. It's not a dark red by any means. It's kind of on the light spectrum of red. I wouldn't really say it has a super warm undertone. It's just not a super deep dark red. It's like a fire engine red or something like that. One thing I do not like about this lipstick is the smell. I forgot how obnoxious the smell is. It kind of smells like paint or like chemicals. That's one of the reasons why I don't wear this, especially if I'm going to wear it for a super long time, which is sad because it's a matte lipstick. That's what it's meant for, but it's just the smell. It's not my favorite. Actually, these applications are going a lot easier than I thought they would. Next up, we have a Luster Finish Lipstick by Milani, and it's in the shade number 08, Ruby Valentine. This red is just a little bit darker, and I really, really, really love this color. I find it super, super flattering, especially with it just being a couple shades darker. I'd say it has more of a cool undertone than the last couple. It really makes your teeth look white, and it is a go-to staple red. Milani lip lipsticks are my favorite favorite formula so if you're gonna go out and buy any true red lipstick at the drugstore I would definitely recommend Milani's Ruby Valentine. Next up we have a much deeper red. This is actually by NYX and it's in the shade Alabama. Like I said this is more of a brick or wine red. It is so 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 stunning. I absolutely love wearing this color with a deep smoky eye for a date night. I think it's absolutely stunning and this one is super long lasting. It's one of the NYX matte lipsticks and those are absolutely amazing. They have a ton of colors. They're absolutely beautiful and they last on the lips so, so long. I've actually heard a lot of people talk about this shade Alabama. It's a pretty popular deep red shade. So this is obviously a much deeper red color. Some people might consider this a purple, um, but I really, really think of it as like a Merlot, cherry cola, just a super deep red color. So the shade is actually by Wet n Wild and it's called Cherry Bomb. Hey, Cherry Bomb, it's red. This is seriously such a gorgeous color, you guys. It's super, super flattering. It's that really vampy color without being full on purple or black. It's still got a ton of red cherry undertones in it where it's still going to pull off as a red color. I wear these colors year round but I really love to wear them more in the fall and winter. Every single year I get a ton of use out of this lipstick and these are like 
two or three bucks. So yeah, guys, I really hope you liked this video. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me if you like this series. Don't forget to comment down below what colors you guys would like to see next. I have now done nudes and reds, and I'm thinking I should do corals and oranges next. Let me know if you like that idea. I love you guys very much, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!